I'm so excited. Make sure, make sure the hair looks okay. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm a tad bit nervous. I don't know why. I go live a lot, but obviously I'm on somebody else's page, so I'm like... <laughs> Um, first and foremost, I want to thank Makeup Goals for having me on. I'm really excited to do this, and I just want to thank everybody who's going to watch and throw some support up. And hold, let me make sure this is nice and clean for us. Okay. Hello. Okay. Um, let me know if you can hear me as well. I put my Do Not Disturb on, so I just want to make sure that you guys can hear me. <clears throat> ah! Okay. Okay. I want to get right into it because you already know, you already know, I got an hour. So your, your girl's trying to run, your, your girl's trying to do her thing because I really want to show you guys. Hello. Let me know if you can hear me, guys. Let me know right off the rip if you can hear me, okay? I'm going to prime my eyes first. Somebody let me know if you can hear me. Just a yes, a simple little yes. I would uh, adore you forever. Tiffany, can you hear me? Remember, we tested this out. Sound is good. Love you. All right, awesome. Cool. So what I'm going to do, let me make sure I stamp so you guys can see. What I am going to do is a look, a very like bright, bright look, okay? And I'm going to incorporate some Halloween um, at the end. So what we're going to do, oh my God, will you just stay Sorry. So let's just jump right into it. So again, we're going to do a really nice, really nice bright look. Um, and you guys, honestly, the whole thing about makeup, it, it's great. That's why I love pages like this because, you know, everybody has a different interpretation. Everybody is, you know, always can learn something new. So I love pages like this because honestly, like you just, you know, you're going to learn something new every time. That's what makeup is all about. Just Learn, 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 learn. And I'm so excited to be on here and teach. A little bit of background while I apply the makeup. All right, this is the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. We're going to go in with the yellow color. Okay, it's, I don't know, I'll slaughter the names. Calavera. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? So we're going to go on with that first. And we are just going to hug that right on, like, for our transition color. And when I say we're going to do, like, a sunset bright look, we're going to do a sunset bright look. <laughs> yes, we are. All right, so a little bit about me. I am a mom of two, six and seven, and I teach makeup. I teach um, a Mac Masterclass and an Ofra, uh, an Ofra class also sponsors me um, at the school that I teach. So I love teaching. I This is my thing. I really do. This is where my heart is. And hopefully, like you guys can learn something. Feel free, ask questions and, you know, Hopefully, I'll do my best to answer them. I just want everybody to, if anything, just take something from this, you know. All right, so down to the explaining part. All right, so what we want to do, because we are going to do a crease, what we're going to do is we're going to take the bright color and we're going to push it a little higher than we usually would. That's because we're creating a crease. So if we put all the color, like, say, too low, we're going to cut it and lose it anyways. So we want to go higher. That's pretty important when applying a cut crease, especially, like, if you're going to go, um, you know, high. You, you want to make sure that your color payoff is as well high. So, all right. And I like this color. This color is pretty good. Of course, I like Urban Decay. Urban Decay is awesome. So, and they have really nice pigmented palettes, and this is obviously one of the best, in my opinion. So, we're just going to put a few layers on, and then we're going to come over here. And I'm going to grab, there's a couple palettes I'm going to be shuffling, like, back and forth, so <laughs> stay with me. All right, so now I'm going to grab the Saharan palette, and this is by Juvia's Plate, or Juvia's please. And I'm going to take the color Sokoto and it's like an orange color. And I'm going to take that on a Moda Pro. This is a BMX 430 crease brush. And we are just going to basically go on top of the uh, yellow and we're going to melt the colors together. I think again, this like makes a really pretty sunset like vibe going on here and I'm all about it. 
so where's everybody from? I'm so excited to be here, you guys. Like for real. I'm so I'm so thank you, Makeup Goals, for having me. And thank you, Justice, for recommending me because um this is pretty cool. I must say. I am pretty excited to be here right now. I always like watching tutorials, so I thought I was gonna be like really nervous, but honestly, I just want to have a good time. All right, I'm gonna take this out. So you see how we got our melts? I call these melting, melting the color. So I'm melting the yellow and I am melting the, let's get close up for you. And I am melting the orange into it. And then I, you know what? I usually just go back on my same brush. This is a Morphe M441. I just lay it right down there, lay it right down. Feel free to share the video. I don't even know if you can here, but if you can. Where are all my slayers at? Where's all my Slayers at? Tiff, I see you. I see a couple of you guys in here. Thank you guys for the support. You're awesome. Okay. And you're going to see me go back and forth. And just because once you start blending a color, sometimes the pigmentation can, you can lose it a little bit. So I always just go right back in there with, you know, for instance, the yellow. And I'm just going to hug that on top. Like so. Let's get the hair out the ears, shall we? <laughs> Okay, now let's start with some fun colors. We're going to go in with, I know, red. And again, we're going to bring that right up on the crease. And if you, I'm not sure if anybody's old school makeup lovers in here, why don't I just put that? Oh, don't play with me, sis. Not today. <laughs> not on makeup goals, though. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Where is it? Oh, here it is. I'm like, nah, not today, sis. Not today. Yeah. All right. So now we are going to put some red on. Thank you, Britt. And we're going to put some red on. Okay. And what we're going to do is in windshield wiper motions, we're going to basically get this inside the crease like so. But we want to go a little higher because remember, we are going to cut this. So, you know, usually if I was doing more of a subtle look, I'd bring it lower. But, you know, makeup, there's no rules in it. You have fun. Whatever looks good is right. That's my motto. That's my motto and I'm sticking to it. Of course, a bigger brush is gonna disperse the product a little bit more and a smaller brush is going to pretty much just keep more of the pigmentation because it's more like stabilized in an area, if that makes sense. I always tap off my brush because um, I don't know about you, but I cannot stand fallout. Especially, I don't really have any foundation or nothing on, but still. And because I have like an hour, I was like, oh, you know, what's funny. Like usually like, I don't know, like my lives usually go within like an hour, 25, an hour, 30. So I'm like, girl, come on with the brows done. But I want to give you guys a little treat and I want to do a little bit of an FX look right when I'm done with this. And I think that would be really cool. So I'm using, this is the sugar pill palette. It's the burning heart palette. It's funny. I have like the little girl from next door. I'm like, watch my kids. <laughs> You already know. I'm just gonna take a little more of that yellow and we're just kind of hug it up there. Also in the Burning Heart palette, that's the sugar pill palette. We actually have some yellow there. These are, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, these are some pigmented colors. Like, and I, if you're a unicorn like me, then you're gonna love them. You're absolutely going to live. Use some pigment. And I'm gonna put it right here. So now already we have sort of like a little melt, a little sunshine melt. So last but not least, I'm going to go in with a smaller brush because we want it in, you know, a smaller area. And we're going to go in with that purple. This is called Poison Plum and it's beautiful. I, I listed like I, um, I listed my, I don't know, like my Facebook and my Instagram. <laughs> I really honestly, like as long as I'm on here, I really don't care. I just want people to, I just want you guys to like take something or two out of this that's all and of course sharing would be especially especially great because i'm telling you i'm doing an fx look right at the end yes we're getting cute and pretty right here but i'm telling you like we're i'm like gonna make it look like our face is stretched back like i'm like you know like that tape look where like you're pulling off your face i'm gonna do that so i'm hoping we get you know i know this is my first time but all right, so now I'm going to put that purple and I'm going to make a little bit of a V shape and I'm literally just putting it in there, but going a little higher up 
And that's just because of what I said for before, our crease. We're putting our crease there, so. I'm like getting blinded by my Reiki mirror right now. Here we go, that's a little better. The phone's blur, oh, of course. Of course it would do it to me today, right? Where the phone would be blurry. And then I see people saying that they see me just fine, so I don't know. To me, it looks clear, but again, I'll, I'll make sure I come, you know, close in and everything when I'm doing like detail parts. Okay, so again, I'm just going up. I'm hugging it. Thanks for those hearts. I see you. Okay. And honestly, like second verse, same as the first type thing. I'll just get closer. We're going to come in. This is the red and I'm going to go on top of the purple and honestly, just keep going. And if you want a fierce, like when I mean fierce, like a fierce blend, then just do this. You're going to be able, it's like a little rainbow. You're going to be able to see all these colors in entirety, pretty much. All right. Okay. And then of course, after we do our cut, we are gonna come with some um, black, but right now, let's practice the cut. Now it's my first time doing this, psych. <laughs> yeah, right. Imagine if I tried to do that, no, not today. This is kind of a big deal. All right, so let me take my little crusty palette and I am going to show you guys, thank you, I'm gonna show you guys basically putting it on top of the lid and then what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of look up a little bit and that's where your cut is going to be. I don't want it to go too far. But I like to do that. So now you see there, this is where you're going to make your cut. So I look down and then right there is like my little cheat sheet. Okay. So I'm just going to come over and we're just going to make the cut. Now, everybody makes their cuts different. To me, this is a sure-proof way of it not transferring up to your lid. That's why I like to do it, and that's why I made everything else a little higher. You see what I mean? Right? It's a great trick, right? I think so. It helps. There we go, and now just clean it up. Make weird faces, because you already know. I'd like to come all the way down here to get a nice, you know, little thing. Hi, Malaysia, wow, that's awesome. Another little trick, if you're having difficulty, is just stamping it on. Instead of doing this, just stamp it on. I do both. There we go. It's funny with cut creases. Sometimes these, this is like the... Um, Whatchamacallit, this is the, like, I'm not going to say hardest part, but it's like the most tedious, time-consuming part. I know you guys know what I mean. I'm going to keep my eyes shut because we don't want any transfer, not today. So I'm going to come over with, if I can see, here we go, and I'm just going to set that. I'm going to set it with anything, honestly. Um, this is like a makeup forever shiny guy I have here. You could set it with anything. Actually, you know what, let me use this. And I'm just going to come down, and this is just going to ensure that it doesn't, you know, creep up my lids. Don't come in here. And then I sort of just dust it over like that. Boom. Done. I'm sorry if I just screamed. That was kind of loud. All right. What am I doing? Right okay. Second verse. Same as the first. Hi from Oyster Creek, Texas. What's up? What are you using for the cut? I'm using Tarte. 
um, the shape tape in light, the lightest color. And I'm putting it on my lid and I'm opening my lid and I'm getting my little cheat guy. So now I know that it's not going to transfer up any higher than this. Does anybody else have a good trick that they use for their cut? I would like to know because, again, makeup's all about learning. So let me know what you guys do. And see how I'm stamping and stamping. My eye always gets so watery when I do that. Oh yeah? What else, what, else, what other tricks do you guys have? Let your girl know. Let your girl know. Oh, thanks guys. The more hearts. Thank you. So who's ready for Halloween? Because I know I am. Yeah, this is, well, it's faded, Henna. It's like faded, Henna, which is the most annoying thing. I always just put it right on the back, too. After this, it starts getting fun, I promise. I'm just a tad bit of a perfectionist, but I told myself, I was like, girl, they don't got time for it. Not today. Okay. Cause like something like that, I would, I would seriously be staring at it the whole time. Again, guys, I promise this is the only hard part of the tutorial, for real. It's another little trick. Boom. We're going to stop right there. As I go in for another one. I know you guys know what I'm doing when I'm talking about, though. It's so hard when you want it to be, you know, when you want to slay it. It's hard. Okay, so, again, just set it. And then let's move on. Do you still do people's make? Yes, I do. I absolutely do. I'm a freelance MUA and I teach it at the academy in Connecticut. I just, I love it. I love everything about it. For real. Everything about it. Okay, so I thought it would be cute to pop some pink on there so we can get like everything. Aw, somebody not being nice. Children. <laughs> Anywho. All right, so now I'm going to take this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take this guy right here. This is a small Morphe brush, and I'm literally just going to take it, and I'm going to, like, melt these two colors together. Yes, it's a half-cut crease. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it is. And I'm just going to blend that in. And you could use whatever brush you want. You could use a flat brush. I'm actually going to switch to one right now. If I can find it. If I can't, then I guess I won't. Who, who else does this? Like, with your brush? I have it right here. But who else does that with the brushes? Ugh. Anyways. Be gentle. It's my first time. 
Okay, so I'm just going to, again, melt that pink right over here. Okay, I'm going to hop back over to that Urban Decay Full Spectrum. And they have, like, a lighter pink. It's called Gossip, and it has a satin sheen to it. And I feel like that's going to be really pretty for the fade out right there. So I'm going to do that. And then, honestly, we're just going to come right back over to the purple and set it down and start blending out. I'm trying. Be fast. Okay. I gotcha. Okay. There we go. She said, go fast. Girl, I got it. I'm going to try. Aw. Guys are so cute. And I see all of you too. Your little comments. So cute. Okay, and that just adds some more definition, which I like. So we're going to come over and we're going to do the bottom because, again, my, my girl let me know you got to be quick. And you do. You, you got to be quick. So I am going to take that advice. <laughs> and we don't take it. Thank you very much, Mary. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to take that same color. We're just going to go right underneath. And I want it to be, like, really spread. So we're going to come over here, and we're just going to really take it down. And I'm using a bigger brush because I want a bigger area. I don't like that brush. Let's use another one. Here we go. I'm just kind of, like, just patting it down. Then I'll blend it out. Sometimes that's a good idea, too, to, like, pat the color down and then blend it out. Sometimes that works. Or you can pinch the previous brush that you had that you did the yellow with and go to town. I'll try this thing for the last time. Ow. My heart said no, no. Thank you. Probably not tip because, again, I'm going to, like, I really want to get this FX in there. So right now I'm just going to kind of do, oh, I'm doing the same thing on top now with the bottom. Because, yeah, no, it's needed. So I'm just, like, going, here's the, the color Sakota. And I'm going full across. This time with my little Heine in gear. Because I want to make sure. It was so funny today. We were, I was almost, uh, whatchamacallit, my daughter was like in one of my palettes. And it was like one of those really special palettes. And I was, oh my god, it was, it was quite the morning. Alright, I'm going to take that yellow and I'm just going to blend it. I swear that's why I don't go live. Oh, you guys, I'll tell you what, listen. Whoever, whoever is being negative, who cares, guys? Who cares? Look how much more positive people there are in here. Like, look at all you positive people in here. I know this looks bomb. I know you guys know it looks bomb. Who cares? Honestly, it's something wrong with them, and let's ignore them. Because, honestly, this is going to be a killer makeup look, and I just, I would love people to get something out of this. So, let's do that, shall we? Shall we? <laughs> okay. There we go. And then take the purple and then we are on our way. You, Jessica, you could do it though. That's the thing. Like, I know a lot of people tell me on my lives, they're like, oh my God, you know, like, I wish I could do that. You can, you absolutely can just practice. You just got to practice. That's all it is. I'm taking some purple now and we are just going to go right there and hug it. You really could. Makeup is not just something, you know what I mean, that you're going to pick up and get. Like, yeah, you, there's a little bit of skill to it, but that's why people are, like, do these things, like, you know, like live. So everybody can learn how to do it. That's cool. All right, let's put some glitter on because who would I be if I didn't? Okay, and we're just going to put it there. And what I want to do, I want it to sparkle into the pink so we're just going to come over and we are going to get it in there. That looks really pretty now, as you can see. Thank you. And then I take my finger and I just disperse it a little bit more. And this, yes, I, I saw somebody in the comments saying this would be considered a half cut crease. Uh-huh. This is the Urban Decay Liner, yes. 
You know something, Heidi? It's funny. A lot of us end up looking like a clown at first, but like one thing I've learned, like you can always fix it. You can always fix makeup. Like no matter what you do, it can be fixed. I promise you that. No, don't go fast. I'm not sure. Thank you. Isn't that nice? Okay, we're just going to add a little bit of a wing. I like my wings low, so I sort of get the shape first like that because I want it to go lower and then I just bring it right in. This is Stila Stay All Day. And take your time with the liner part, you know, it's important. And I want it skinnier over here. And I like to use these because you could just kind of stamp out what you're doing. So I want it thin and then I want it to come out into a nice wing. And I want it to be straight like that. Put it down and then go up. And then I take some black. Remember that black shadow that I... Where'd you go? There you are. That black shadow that I said I was going to mix in, I just take that and do my thing. Thank you. That's I love doing the details are my favorite. They are my favorite. And I put it down there so it looks like it's all going into each other. And I am going to come with some black, but let's not skip ahead of ourselves. One eye at a time. Well, you know what? Wings are not easy to do, and but there is such good, like... If I get to be blessed to come back, I know I would love to. There's so much I I, I don't have, you know, I get, I'm a little nervous. I don't have much time, but this is my best tip is to uh, outline it first. Okay. And then come right down like that and then color it in. And then there you go. And remember, um, wings are sisters, not twins. And then just stamp out. Like so. Definitely want to set up a time. Absolutely. Get in contact with me. And again, we're not going to go like heavy if it's like, oh my God, it's not perfect. I'm gonna... Nah, who cares? It's, it's okay. Like just chill, come over. <coughs> That's my boy here. I'm being all loud and what and whatever. I just shook that. Okay, so then after I'm going to take a nice, this, I know, I got it in my Ipsy bag, guys. It says Wonderland, but I don't even know. It's something. What is this brand? This. It's, I don't know what this. We're going to go underneath. And because we want it to connect. We want it to connect, basically. When I was doing this, because I was like a little nervous, so of course, like I did a little trial run on myself, so I was like Ugh, all nervous, and um, I actually did it with hot pink in the center, but I think I liked it like this. I am going to be doing my 31 sleighs of Halloween. Yes, I am going to be doing those. I'm very excited. We already did. I did my American Horror Story um, inspired look live yesterday, and it got really good reviews. Actually, on Instagram, um, the actual American horror story fx that's what it is on instagram they liked it oh my god i was freaking out i was so excited that like just made everything so much better i was so happy and i still am that was so dope so yay yay to that all right now i'm just gonna blend that out and i roll my eyes back like i look like i don't know what i look like i look crazy but that's how I get it. Because I get it in my tight line area too. Because I don't know about you, but I don't like touching all that. So, Okay. 
Let's do a little bit of a highlight. So I'm going to take some NYX Cosmetics. Oh my God, it's called Mer Siren. I don't know, it just reminds me. It's just, oh, I love it. So we're going to take that and at first we're going to brush any little fallout that we got. Boom, bye, get out of here. Thank you. How can we see your 31 Slays of videos? Well, I left a description in the link where you could um, play. Oh, you guys, I mean, I'm not sure. Like, I'm, Again, this is my first time ever going live here. So um, forgive me if I'm like not doing the, I don't know, the right order of things. But I am doing 31 Slays on my live. And hopefully, maybe, like, I would love to do something like here too. But I mean, you know, let's, let me not get ahead of myself. Um but yeah, that, that's awesome. I did it last year. Um, a couple of my videos did exceptionally well. Um, one of them actually, actually the Freddy Cougar and the Exorcist got over a million views in the first, what was it like week? It was so cool. Like I was, it was really awesome. So if you guys want to go check that out, please, by all means, I'm also putting it right here to be extra <laughs> because it's such a pretty color. My cousin. My cousin. That's my cousin. I'm all excited. Robin, I'm all excited I saw you. My cousin. All right. Now it's for an extra because I'm all about the details. Ask around. No, I really am. Like, I'm like obsessed over details. So we're going to go in with Suva Beauty. And it's a water activated guy. And we're going to take it and we're going to mix it up. And I am going to draw a hot pink line right here. This is also a good way to get your um, liner like completely straight. Wink, wink. Hi. There we go. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I love it. Okay. So let's throw a little bit of mascara on. <laughs> I'm all saying let's like you guys are right here. Kind of though. It's weird. Okay. I'm going to use some of my Ofra Cosmetics. And we're just going to slap that on like so. Where is everybody? Yeah, so again, the link is in my... I like warn the kids. I'm like, don't be coming, don't be coming in here. Da, ah, 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 ah. Don't be coming. Jay, I love you to death, but this is important. Please, babies. You know I got nothing but the love for you, kid, but... <laughs> You come in here, you'll be in trouble. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to put some. These are Sweetheart Lashes in this style. I believe it's Katie. They're the more dramatic ones are Katie. I have Katie and Charlotte. And no, I do not have a discount code. <laughs> discount code. Don't have one. Not yet, anyways. Drop this love thing for the lost. What's everyone's favorite type of lash glue? Because I'll tell you what, smelling like fish like this, I just, I can't, I can't do it. No. So can you guys give me some, like, I don't know, like better versions? Cause I can't, like, I really can't there. It's so like the smell just got to me, man. Like it did. The duo glue, it won. The duo glue won. I cannot, like, I can't. Oh, oh, of course I dropped it. <laughs> my my bezel schnizzle. Wait, you guys like duo too? No. Okay, so I just hold the lash really tight. Throw up those hearts. Throw up those hearts to block the extras. Okay, so I'm going to take it and we're just going to set it down. Now, you don't want the glue to be too wet or it's going to slide right off. Or you want to make sure that you are completely latex free on your handle or it will stick. So I lay it right down there and then I adhere the edges like so. I make sure it's nice and comfy and then I open my eye a bit. See, I can't use the black glue. I don't know. Like, I've tried, and it just it doesn't work for me. I hold it down there for a second. I probably should have let it 
because any kind of like mink lashes or uh, like fake mink lashes, they are very thick. So the band is a little thicker than usual. So it is a little harder to um, curl down. So that's why you got to really make sure that you like you have it, like you have control over. That's why I open my eye just a tad bit. And then I'll fuse them later. Because I'm going to jump right to the FX part, ladies and gents. I got to do that. I cannot. So again, make sure that it's completely, again, as you saw, like it stuck because my little butt did not adhere the correct way. So I'm going to put one down, take that extra lash off. Goodbye. What are you doing? Open it a little bit and adhere it just like that. Come over, take all that extra. I have like lashes that are falling. <laughs> These aren't even old this pair. You can definitely wear lashes. Fun fact, at least a good like four to five times if you take care of them. And then the some of them are like these. I think they're made just so you could wear them. You know what I mean? Okay, so we're going to let that dry. And then I'm going to show you my trick on how to plop them up. And as that's drying, I'm going to come over. I'm going to tie my hair back. And we're going to get into the FX portion because I want to wake everybody up here. So, what I'm going to do, again, you guys, yes, these are drying. I am fully aware that they are probably not, like, legit right now. Just make sure they are, like, the only thing you want to make sure is that these bad boys are on and popping because there is nothing worse. So, I like to let it get a little tacky, let it do its thing. Then I'm going to come over and I'm going to grab out... Let's see. You know what? Let's use my MAC pencil. This is the FX portion. I will do the rest. We're just going to mix it all up because, I mean, like, again, I don't I don't know. I didn't have that much to me anyways. I, it's probably enough time. Who knows? We'll see when we get there. But So what I'm going to do, okay, um, I am going to, basically, we're going to create little lines like so and I like using this type because you can like get it right where you need it and it doesn't have to be perfect because you could just literally blend it out and then come up and trace it so I don't worry about it being like crazy good all right over here and then we're going to cut it down here Here, here, and then just do the same thing basically. This is why I like using one of these pencils and we're going to make it look like either we're wearing a mask or that our, we, we can peel our face back. I did this look and it was, I really liked it. It's a, a lot of people have done it. It's on, uh, James Charles did it. Um, goodness, there's, there's a lot of people that have done this look. And I, I mean, it's because it's awesome. <laughs> That's probably why. All right, and we're just gonna come over like that and boom. So we're just going to outline all of our face, okay? And then again, the thing that, again, I love about this is because you could just boom, boom, done, you're done, you're good. Okay, and I have that to where I like it. I want it to be curved in, curved in. So I think it's curved in enough. I'm gonna put it down and we're gonna come back over to the lashes because we want to make our lashes comfortable for the night, right? There's nothing worse than lashes that are like uncomfortable for real. So we're gonna take them and we're just going to look up and I'm going to put that there and I pinch like this and I make sure that my real lashes are completely in to the fake ones now. So it looks like this. We will go back over with um, the glue to make sure that we get that part. Um, not glue, I'm sorry, liner. All right, I also take this bad boy right here for more of a curl effect. And I curl it a little bit and then boom, 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 boom. Love it. This is a sure way of your lashes ain't going nowhere. Sure. What's up, a uh, Apollonina? Apollon. Girl. 
I tried. Eh, I tried. <laughs> pinch, put down, pinch, put down, pinch, put down, and then curl it. And then it should go up and look pretty. There we go, pretty. Okay, so once that is done, you can come back over because I know I don't know about anybody else, but I cannot with the lines. I can't. So we're just gonna come over and we are going to cover our lash hand or any of that glue. Also, now that we have highlighted a little tip, I look down in this way. Well, on my clients I do. I don't know if I'll be able to do that here. And then I want to go in here for extra, like, you know, dimension. Okay. And then just cover the lash. So this is where I, I do not do lipstick or anything first because you already know, like, oh my God, it would be like destroyed. So you can see the, love that. Damn, my kids are loud. All I do, all I hear, I just hear them right now, just screaming. Where are you? All right, I'm just getting out some more. I, I really do not like this. Uh, for my bottom lashes, but it's the only thing I could find and I really want the eyes at least to be done Okay. A little tip too you can put some uh, translucent powder right underneath Where you put your mascara so you don't get what I just got right here and if you do that's okay we could just literally Chip it right off, but don't do it while it's wet. Wait until it's dry a little bit because I have really long bottom eyelashes. So it, I'm forever like accidentally doing that, forever doing that. Okay, so because once it dries, you can take your spoolie basically and just take it off like that. I think this was still a little bit wet. What's that? Why do you keep peeking in? There you go. Okay, then I take it and dust off. Okay, make sure we didn't lose any pigment there because I always do that. And then let's start shading and getting fun. Thank you. Yeah, I don't, I, I never use this for the bottom. I'll tell you why. Because of this right here. You just saw all that transfer. Oh my God, I cannot stand using that mascara. I only like to use my MAC Extended Play. Like, I refuse to use anything else. But because I don't know where that went right at the moment, I kind of had to make do with what I had. Whatever. And it's just like, because it's, it's like sticky. I like it for top lashes, but it's like so sticky for the bottom. So I don't really, but whatever could sit there and obsess about it or I could just go on with the tutorial okay just put a little more color down now let's start shading this is like the this is the important part okay so you can take a flat brush maybe like a smaller one I think I'm gonna take my smaller one guys on Amazon for $7.99 this is like ideal I love it Thank you. Thank you very much. You guys are you guys are very nice. Thank you. You guys are really, really, really sweet. Okay. Where the heck did I go? All my brushes. I'm actually being too organized for one, so I'm like throwing my myself off. Just gonna if you if you mess up like again just grab glitter 
that, that saying glitter makes everything better like uh, it really does like I literally, literally just made a little bit of a boo-boo and boom done all right so I take a little guy out this is the what the heck is this Morphe M151 and we're just gonna start shading so this is from Makeup Geek it is called creme brulee and we're gonna take it and we're going to trace underneath here and the reason why it's gonna make it look like it's coming off of our face Left lash looks like it's falling off. Nope, it's on. It's on and secure. They are like really big though. Maybe that's why. So we're going to go over here and we're gonna start blending out. So I go in with that brush. Actually, I think I'm gonna use the bigger one because we want this to get quickly done. And you guys, anybody could do this for Halloween and it's so cool looking. So I'm just going to come out there and we're gonna start shading. This is making our shade. Thank you, Jolene. Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. Yeah, I just pulled out some Dolly Parton. I did. Yeah. Okay, so just kind of make that go out. I'm going back and forth. You guys, I promise you, you go, go to a Halloween party like this. Oh, hell yeah. Sorry guys, I just got a call. Almost done. You guys having fun? If anything, if we have to stop um, because I'm going over the time, I wonder, do you guys know how long I've been doing this? Because maybe she was calling to let me know that I'm, I'm almost done. Yes, the tape look. Yes, the pulling tape look. It's so cool, right? And all it is is a little bit of this. That's it. It's just like a little bit of cool highlights. Okay, 45 minutes. Awesome. So I'm right there. <laughs> okay, we're actually going to be able to do this. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm just going all the way. It's all about shading. So we're just coming and shading. You could even do the the um your foundation in the center really light too if you want it to be more of a popped out look. But I'm kind of just going for more, you know, of that. So all right, this is the first step to that. All right, so we're we're kind of looking cool. It's looking like it, you know, it's definitely coming. You know, like our skin is setting on top. It looks like it's our skin is like either coming off or like sitting on top. That's the best way I could describe it. Now I'm gonna take a dark color. So I'm gonna take like, it's called Americano, and this is from Makeup Geek as well, and we're gonna hug it really close. Okay, and this is just gonna basically pretty much do the same thing. It's gonna just give it more depth. And it's going to make it look even more like it's popping out. Sometimes I use an angled brush. I think I'm going to switch to that just real quick. Thank you. This is what I love most about it. Like, it, it really does look so real. It's so cool. Okay. So now it just really, really gives it, and you don't have to do it in all the areas, just in the dips, because we're giving depth to this look. Okay, and I just go back with this, any kind of little shade area that I need. There we go, this one will be quicker very light hand and then just go off again if you want it deeper just go up and, and put it deeper that's all this is the um urban decay glitter liner and glam rock okay and i'm just going to continue that So you see I'm switching between my brushes to really give it that pop out effect. Go 
going light. The way that you move your brush has everything to do with this too. And like the way that you hold your brush has everything to do with this. Like I promise you. Oh, thanks guys. Thanks, guys. You guys are so cute. Aww. Maybe I should have started the tutorial out with an FX. What do you think? <laughs> Probably. Okay. And we're just going to, again, blend. Everything is, is about blending. This is a really good case of shading. Like, this is shading. We are shading, shading, shading. Because shading is what makes the world go raw. No, but in... Any kind of FX look, it is what's going to differentiate, you know, between fake looking and, and like, real looking. And I'm just doing the same thing. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. And I'm going darker in the deeper areas. Like, right here, I'm going to go darker. Okay, probably gonna have to do a messy version because I really want to finish this. Okay. Let's get that shade out now. Let's get Okay, yes, we did it. We did it. So now we are having more of a 3D like effect. Yeah. Yes. The kids are out there being mean to our neighbors. Okay, tell, oh, honey. And just tell them to come in, but don't have them come in here. I'm literally almost done, so. Let me see you. Okay. I have like three minutes left to do it, though, probably. Are you able to do some makeup on me? After yeah, I could do makeup on you. Okay. Okay. Just make sure you got to get out there with the kids. Yeah, I'm going. Thanks, I'm going babe. To get rude and... mm, yeah, well, we don't want that. And, and I'll talk to them about that. I don't know why they're acting rude. Yeah, well, I'll go get them and bring them Thank you, honey. You always get that babysitter you love. Okay. Now we're going to make that look. Do you speak Spanish? I do not. I don't speak Spanish. I mean, like, I know a few words, but, like, not, not, like, enough, I don't think, you know. Not enough. Mommy? No, JJ, you have to stay out there, all right? I'm almost done. I'm not playing with you. I know, it looks cool. I'll show you after. I don't think what you're doing. Get Rachel. No, 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 honey, you can't be in here. I don't want to get you in trouble, okay? I know. And you guys, you guys always get to see after acting like you never saw this. You already know. All right, now I'm going to take some of that bra. Make sure they do not come in here, okay? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I love my babies and everything, but no. Okay, so we're going to shade this area right here. And we're just going to go in with the dark. That's all we're doing here. So we're going to take it and and this just again gives it more of a 3D effect. Everything is about that. Everything. Okay. We did this one. So this one. And we are at home stretch, guys. We are at home stretch. Okay. All right, Rach. Um, okay, well, I'll, I'll deal with them when I come out. I'm literally almost done, honey. Okay, so. Because there's nothing I could do right now. I'm almost done. 
Mom life. Mom life. The only ones who's listening is Ariana. Okay, honey. Well, Jay. again, I'll be out there. Yeah, Jay is just wandering off. Don't worry, I'll get him. He shall be in trouble. He shall feel my wrath. Okay. Now you know I'm going quicker now. All right. Then we just give it a few highlights. Bada bing, bada boom. Do our lips and we're done. So for that, I'm just literally going to use I don't know, a NYX Cosmetics um, little brush here. Thank you. I know they are. I know mom life all the time. Mom life forever. <laughs> mom life even when it's not mom life. It's always mom life. All right. So we're going to come over and we're just going to shade. Or excuse me, shade. We're going to give these nice highlights. And highlights is what's going to make this whole thing pop out. It makes any kind of look pop out. So we come over. And we're going to give it a few highlights. Anybody else's kids get like that? Like, it's so funny. Like, they, like, you know they listen to you, but, like, when the babysitter's there, they try to act like they don't listen? Yeah, no. Take my finger. I'm going on the opposite end of where I shaded. That is the best way to explain it. So if I shaded right here, I'm going to go on the opposite end. Okay, almost done. Hopefully you guys can see. I'm going to take that and I sort of buff it out. Looking kind of cool. It's always hard for me to like do this hand while I'm trying to get over here, but I got it. <laughs> like all discombobulated. Yes. Then you come right over, take some more highlights, and you're gonna put them right here so it looks like it's skin sitting on skin, but you want to like buff it out. So we're gonna come over and we're just gonna give these a quick highlight. Just like that. So it sits right on top. Just like so. Put some in the corners. You guys are really doing that too. It's just like, I don't I didn't want to run out of time. I'm so ready for Halloween though. I really am so excited. Well, me too. I'm like, ugh, line, that's not the right way. Ugh. Okay, so now we could slap some tape on, but why do that when you could just draw it on and be lazy? No, actually drawing it on is probably harder, so it's actually not being a little more lazy, but we're going to just take uh, some water-activated paint, which I have right here, and we're just going to go. I'm legit going to paint on two things of the tape really quick oh, I cannot stand this every time here we go because it's like underneath all my mounds of stuff so you're, it's just really simple guys take a little bit of water I have I use Miron I love Miron Miron's been my ride or die since day one I love it and we are just going to make the tape You guys better be listening to her. Oh, my son is being fresh. Doesn't have to be perfect because <laughs> doesn't have to be perfect because tape isn't perfect. But guys, what an easy thing to do for Halloween. Might take an hour, but 
Depends on what eye look you're doing. So I'm just drawing little tapes. Do you guys hear my daughter in the background? She's so cute. Okay. Thanks, guys. And if anything, just make the edges straight because think about it. The that's where the tape, you know, the tape is just the tape can look crappy right there, but it kind of needs to look pretty cool right there. So once you have that, you know, it's opaque enough, which I think it is, you're gonna go in there to really make it a lot more realistic looking because that's like the look we're going for. Just grab a shader brush real quickly, any kind, small, whatever, large, it don't matter. And what I do is I come over and I grab a gray eyeshadow. I'm just going to take from my MAC Z palette. Um, I'm literally just going to take this gray right here and I'm just going, here, let's get the dry one, to make it look a little more rusted and a little more like it has wrinkles in it. See how much more realistic that looks when you do that? Just adds texture and it adds like that shadowy kind of vibe to it. Thanks, guys. And it adds kind of like that little shadow. I do right here and right here. Then, just to make it really pop out, you're gonna, I'm just gonna grab like this little, I don't know what color it is. It's just like a, like a muted brown color. Oh, of course, I just went everywhere. Why wouldn't it? And I'm going to create a shadow right here. So it looks like the band-aid is coming off of our skin. Everything is done with trickery with makeup, guys. Everything. So a little of a shadow right here, and then we're going to cast it right here. A little bit of a shadow right here. Underneath. So it looks like it's sitting on top. Like when you see people like draw bugs on their face, this is how they do it. Like they take the shadow. The shadow part is really important. too much thank you I kind of did it like the eyes really quick well not really actually it wasn't quick it was like 40 minutes meaning on the time I need to hurry my little hiney up sorry guys if this was kind of like you know I was a little nervous for my first time coming on here but like dude I appreciate everybody just like being real cool um, and hopefully you guys learn some stuff because that's what it's all about. So let me just put my lips on really quick. And we can get it. We can get it done. Get her done. I'm going to talk like that. I'm just going to go with um, lipstick. I'll use Rock or yeah, Rocker from MAC and then MAC Lip Liner. I think it's in the color Beats. Thank you very much. You know something? Honestly, guys, like it's all about... Like, I think this is such a cool look. Like, imagine, like, you know, like, what, what, how do they do? They're all, ah, <laughs> I think that's so cool. I mean, and it's, like, cute. You could still rock, like, a real cute, sexy eye. So, what's better? What's better than looking like you have your face pulled off? You know what I'm saying? But you can actually, like, look cute while you're doing it. Like, that's awesome. Oh, that's not my right one. Sorry, I'm trying to get my freaking use this one because things like to disappear on me I overline just a little if you want it to stay on longer line it a little more you know what I mean like really get the line in there
Okay, and I'll put the lipstick on. I use that, and then I use the Bite Beauty. This is just a little more matte. You always got to be careful too with um, liner because it has like, I swear, it has like a little mind of its own. Especially when you're doing color, you want to get them lines real cute, like real nice. I wonder what I should cook for dinner tonight. I'm hungry. Awesome, some love I never sing the right words. <laughs> Put a little black. Oh, fuck. Shoot. Shoot. Boop. I just want it darker. I swear I'm almost done. Thank you. Erica, JJ won't stop. Okay, honey. Just tell him to sit right down, okay? Yeah. Okay, I'll be you guys, I'll be right out, okay? I'll be right out. I probably like I'm right now. I'm obviously on here, so. Ugh! <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I know you probably came in here like, what are you with? <laughs> you <laughs> sorry. Scare you. <laughs> JJ, get your butt in here. Okay. That's an awful. That's awful. I can't do any more because it clearly, I guess my kid is like acting up and like family first. So, all right, guys. So this is pretty much the finished look. Um, do what you want with it. If you want to put your own, like, like again, like, oh, we got, we got to put, look, we got to put a little highlight on those. <laughs> One second, a little bit of highlight. Um, I don't know. Let's use like this cool color. Okay, we gotta use a little highlight though. We got, we gotta use a little highlight. We, by a little, we want to put highlight everywhere. You guys, um... Really? Yes, really. Mohammed, you like it? Please, tell me you do. Because your opinion right there is the one that, that, that really matters. <laughs> okay, so that's it. I am done. And th thank you guys so much for all, you know... Just checking, checking me out, I guess. That was awesome. This was really fun. Um, makeup goals. Thank you so, so, so much for actually having me on. I'm just going to put a little bit of a nose contour in there because that makes the world go around. Okay. Ah! Let me take this off. All right, guys, thank you so much. I, I really, guys, I appreciate this so much. Please go check out my Facebook page, fb.me slash beauty slayer. Again, makeup goals, graciously, I thank you so much. This has meant a lot to me. Justice, thank you even more because, I mean, that was really awesome, um, you know, just to think of me, to come on. I hope you guys enjoyed it like me, but, you know, hey, um, to each his own, right? I mean, this is uh, something just really cool. Think about going out for Halloween and just doing something like this, man. Like that, to me, when uh, you walk in a room and I look over and I see some bomb makeup and then look, looks like it's a mat. Girl, girl. <laughs> and you know, my whole thing is I love teaching. Like I love it. I, I, I absolutely adore it. And I adore you guys. So thank you so much. Mwah. Um, that's it again. Thank you so much. Love you. Let me give you guys one more like screenshot worthy thing.
Mohammed, there's a T in there, babe. Okay. Bye. Hopefully I'll be back. <laughs>